Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's reading is going to be a little bit different. Um, for one, uh, I have both of my cats here with me today because they just could not stay in the other room. They just had to be near me. So if you hear any bells ringing in the background, um, that's them moving around or if some of them either one of them make an appearance, you might see them, I don't know. Sometimes they just like to sleep right in my lap or right next to me while I'm doing a reading. So we'll just have to see. Also, I finally got around to doing this video because I've been getting a lot of really, really crazy, insane downloads this past week. So much so that I've had to, I've had to take notes and, um, there's a lot, so I'm going to go through all of that in this reading. However, you know, I might still end up pulling some cards or whatnot. Spirit did guide me to shuffle and pull some cards while I was getting these downloads. So I was able to channel more messages through the cards and through really meditating on the downloads that I was getting throughout the week. Um... <clears throat> One of the ways that I channel in general is through the action of actually shuffling cards. So I will still be doing that at some point throughout the um, throughout the reading. Um, I also channel through um, meditation, frequency music, um, my cats if they're with me. And um, so... Also through some crystals, um, I don't have any exactly right here with me right now just because I am in a different place than I normally am, so I don't have all my crystals with me, but taking notes for your downloads so that I don't forget anything allows me to get a full message and all your channeled messages and all your downloads in their entirety without missing anything. So that's why instead of pulling the cards that spirit guided me to do or to pull earlier this week was not recorded because they came so quickly and so fast and when I get messages they come very 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 fast and a lot of them come at the same time so taking notes is definitely helpful for me so um I'm just going to start out by shuffling while I kind of go through the beginning of some of these downloads so for some of you, there is, there are snakes in your life right now. Okay. So they could be at your, they could be in your job. They can be parts of people in your family, in your friend group, um, you know, coworkers, bosses, whatever. There could be one person in particular <clears throat> that is kind of like the ringleader of these snakes. Um, or it could be a group of people who are collectively working towards <clears throat> excuse me, towards a uh, desired outcome. Um, some of these people chose being accepted over their connection with you. So they wanted to look cool or they wanted to be accepted by other people that they think they want to be like. They've been gossiping talking crap about you, bad-mouthing you behind your back, and then acting like they're your friend to your face. And some of you intuitively know this. Um, some of you intuitively know that these people might be doing this because you have a gut feeling that you can't really trust them. Um, but they are afraid of getting caught and losing your energy and the benefit they have of knowing you. So they're going to continue to be fake and try to act like they're your friend in, in front of you in your face. They're jealous and they're driving themselves crazy with how they want to take you down. If this, per if this person could live in your skin and be you and live your life, they would. If they had their way, they would molt you like a snake and wear your skin, which is kind of ironic considering they're the snake. So... When I was doing these shuff when I was shuffling these cards earlier this week and doing this reading over and over, because I shuffle a lot, I'll, I'll pull a bunch of cards, get channeled messages, 
reshuffle and pull more cards, reshuffle and pull more cards. I do this throughout my channeling sessions or whatever. And the repeated tarot cards that kept coming out over and over again in like every spread, every time I would shuffle, were the Seven of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Death, Eight of, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So any of those cards might be significant. They might be significant or cards that whenever they come up in a reading, you know that this reading, that reading is for you. Um, let's see. So I asked Spirit, why is this person gossiping and talking crap about you and bad mouthing you? And the cards that came up were telling me that it's, they are jealous of your life, your money, your talents. This person could be a sibling or a childhood friend or someone from your past who was a friend or an acquaintance that has never been able to lose sight of you. Um, they've never been able to live up to whatever idea of you they have in their minds. So they're trying so hard to like literally be you. Um, they hate they can't, they hate that they can't be like you. They can't be as abundant and hardworking as you. They're always constantly comparing themselves and their life to your life. <clears throat> they might even achieve something that's similar to what they think your life is, but they got it from stepping over others by being dishonest, screwing people over to get ahead instead of hard work, honesty, patience, and teamwork like you guys have. Ooh. Oh my gosh, and now all my cats are... What are you doing? Are you going to lay there? Okay. You better be good. I love you. Um, they don't know how to build connections like you do. So not only do they ruin connections and burn bridges that they build with people... They are unable to be honest with these people. They're trying so hard to emulate how compassionate and heartwarming and honest you are that even though they're not like that to their core, they're trying, but instead they end up ruining these connections and burning bridges and you strengthen your bonds with people. For some of these people, they could even be resorting to illegal activities to make money giving off this sense of fake abundance so like selling drugs scams identity theft petty theft or re petty set petty theft so stealing things from different stores and trying to resell them to make money when i was honestly guys when i was getting some of these messages i was like this is something that's out of a movie like surely somebody there's not people in this world who are clearly who are really like this but i mean if spirit is giving me this me these messages then they it must be it must be real and it must be happening to somebody like this is I honestly think this is so crazy, but I'm just the messenger. I'm just relaying these messages, honestly. So you guys are protecting your heart and your energy. You're not allowing energy vampires to suck you dry. Toxic people are low vibrations in your close circle. You are voicing it to people and some of these people are not liking it. They are not liking that you're setting boundaries and that you're putting up these fences in your life that allows them not to cross into your energy and into your aura some people are honestly floored they are so shocked that you just said or did something like that because they never thought that you would do something they always thought they would have access to you they always thought there was going to be a way they could take from you um you might be deleting or blocking old connections deleting people and making all your socials private cutting off their access to being able to stalk you essentially and like learn about your life indirectly you are forgiving them where they're at and moving on with your life and I'm hearing I was hearing when I was getting these messages like some of these people are like what do you mean you're not going to allow me to steal from you anymore like what do you mean you're not going to allow me to steal your energy and steal your identity like what do you mean and they're just I just kept getting this like really like nasty like entitled energy when I was getting these messages it is like so crazy but it's definitely yeah with this death card there's definitely a like an ending and a rebirth like some of you are really like done with the bullshit cutting them out completely because you can see them you can see them from who you are the veil 
the veil has been lifted and you're able to see them for who they are and they don't like that they really don't so these people while they are in constant scarcity and repeated karmic cycles you naturally attract wealth and abundance you are no longer giving to people that don't prove that they deserve your wealth and attention so these people now like so this this group of people or something or whoever these people are in your life they are now fighting amongst themselves arguing and blaming one another for losing their meal ticket it's just drama after drama after drama they're sending evil eyes spell work to try to block you try to block you in your path try to break you down or when you meet new people that oh yeah so this was like a separate message yeah so when you meet new people those new people instantly like you and show interest in you and want to talk and hang out and exchange maybe even socials or phone numbers they want to get to know you and these these snakes in your life these snakes hate this they cannot stand that people like you so quickly and they're trying to they're trying to divert the attention away from you. And even though you are not trying to be the center of attention, that's how they perceive it. They hate that you don't even have to try. And these peace people are already giving you their attention and their their effort, even though you're not you're not even trying, you're just being yourself. <clears throat> so some of you might be Some of you might be um, trying to further your social media career or in, or maybe doing a lot of PR for your job or marketing or something like that and you're gaining more money and exposure. Or some of you could be getting a promotion or a raise or both at your job. You could be getting some type of award, so like, um, like employee of the month or employee of the year or, you know, something like that, like some type of recognition, some type of award. Um, when you meet these new friends, they're telling their friends and family about you. Everyone is interested in you. Everyone wants to tell, oh my God, I met so-and-so, you know, I met Collective the other day and they're so funny and nice and they're so great. You know, they have this great job, blah, 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 blah. Or I met so-and-so, I met Collective at this event and they were so knowledgeable and intelligent and witty and funny. And like, I think you would really like them. We should all hang out together these the snakes in your life these people who don't like you who are trying to live in your skin are literally losing their minds they cannot take it anymore they are literally starting to crumble from the inside because they are so angry and so upset and so jealous and hateful that they are not getting what you're getting they think that you're getting what is supposed to be for them but like that's not how the universe works. When things are made, when things are meant for you, when things are promised for you through the divine, those things will always find you. So if they're not getting those things and it's not for them, but in their mind, they think that it's theirs and that you're taking it from them. Some of these new people that you've been meeting, the good people, so not the snakes, some of these new people you are meeting are on your same vibration. These people could be part of your soul family. Some of these people you could have met, you could have felt an instant connection to, like you were supposed to meet them or like you were meeting a long lost sister or brother or best friend or family member. Um, and these snakes have to hear about this through other people or through like a fake account where they're trying to stalk you from or something like that. They have to hear through other people and other things about how you're moving forward and how you're growing in your life and in your career and with your new friends and with your new acquaintances because you've cut off access to them already. Some of these snakes have thought about and decided that they're going to try to come for you publicly they might make a social media post about, you know, how you're this bad person, you know, oh, woe is me, feel sorry for me. They're trying to paint you as someone who abandoned them, that you're stuck up or cold, that you cut them off and you're trying to gain and they try to gain sympathy and attention to get the spotlight off of you and will do literally anything to try and discredit you and throw dirt on your name. For most of you, this is not going to stop you honestly you're just going to yep 
You're just going to forgive, block, and move on. Forgive them where they're at. You know, be like, you know what? I forgive you, but we're not friends. I don't want your energy. Block, move on. These snakes' lies and illusions will be revealed by their own demise. They do not need your help to ruin things for themselves. They will do that themselves. They might even try to start to make new friends. They might make new friends and acquaintances through these lies from this public post that they made. But inevitably, they will treat these new people badly, just like they always do, because that's the kind of person they are. And their true colors will be shown. And these new friends will leave them because they're realizing, oh, well, maybe, maybe they lied or... Maybe that post really wasn't all that truthful or I can kind of see even if Collective did do those things they said in that post, I kind of see why they did that now because look at these snakes. You are nurturing your new ideas, watering your own tree of life, sowing your cosmic seeds and trusting the universe and karma. There's nothing that these snakes can do or say anymore that can stop you and it is making them honestly so upset and crazy with jealousy and envy that they don't even know how to they don't even know how to act like a normal person anymore because they've been so, so long trying to be you or trying to be other people that they don't even know how to be themselves anymore so at this point of the message when I was getting all these channeled messages I asked spirit to give me some guidance and some cards to show some of your possible new ventures and actions in the collective and some of the things we got were some of you will be taking someone under your wing as a mentee. You'll be a mentor to them. Some of you might be collaborating with other creators or brands. Some of you might be taking on a new project as a team leader or getting promoted to corporate or to some higher um, job in your company or job. Some of you might be getting an unexpected lump sum or abundance, i.e. Um, an inheritance or maybe a settlement from a court case from something that happened in the past, you know, etc., something like that. Some of you might be finding your soulmate, or like I mentioned before, people in your soul tribe or your soul family. Some of you might be getting married and or having children, starting a family, whether that's a blended family or a new family. Some of you might be getting a positive karmic paycheck, getting back all the generosity and abundance that you've given out in the past. You'll be getting that back. Some of you could have a new business partner or a new investor who wants to invest in your business. Some of you might be starting a new business. You're an entrepreneur. When all of these things start to happen for you, all of these new ventures, all of these new promotions, all of these new relationships, opportunities, these old snakes will try to come crawling back and fake apologize to try to get back into your good graces. But that door is completely shut and locked. They can freeze out in the cold with the five of pentacles they can they are done they are not allowed access to you your energy your life any information about what you're doing your friends your family you are a cosmic alchemist you can transmute any darkness into light any obstacle into a victory like the the it's the audacity for me the fact that these people can really be this way and think that there's nothing wrong with the way that they treat people is absolutely crazy the six of swords here obviously like i've said a million times you guys are moving away from this crazy drama all these snakes you are definitely moving toward calmer waters towards peace towards prosperity let's see here i did get some messages some side messages for some people in the collective that are in um, certain kinds of relationships as well. And I'm just going over my, my notes, my channeled notes real fast. So some of you in the collective are in a relationship where you feel alone and undervalued. That was kind of when this four of cups came up earlier. <clears throat> Some of you are in a relationship where you feel alone and undervalued. You feel like a vessel of pleasure and ignored otherwise. A vessel of pleasure. Cups are vessels. Uh, sometimes spirit, when they give me certain messages, sometimes they don't click right away because I'm so 
I'm so heavily listening to the messages and writing them down that I don't put two and two together at times, but that was beautiful spirit. Thank you. Um, the partner you're with would rather do what they want, leave you at home and or leave all house and family matters to you. This could be a long-term relationship and this is just how it is for some, or that's how you feel. This partner could have children and you basically have raised them. This person could have given you the illusion that this blended family was exactly what you needed, you know, to feel whole again. Some of these people could have children who are now adults that still live at home and are being enabled by your partner to not move forward in their own life. You feel like you'll never reach your own dreams or ever be able to be who you truly are in life because you're stuck in this situation where you feel like you can't move forward because it's just been stuck like this for so long now. It's just been this over and over and over again. You've never been, you haven't been able to move forward. It's like the same cycle over and over again. Some of you feel like you have been stripped of your spiritual identity. Like you're putting this facade up. You're putting up this facade that tells everyone that you're okay when you're really not. You've had multiple red flags and tower moments that confirm that you should not be in this relationship. But this partner is very, very manipulative. The Seven of Swords hasn't come out yet, but it came out continuously over and over when I was shuffling and getting these messages and these downloads, the times that I was getting them earlier this, uh, this week. It was coming out over and over again. Yeah, like with this Two of Pentacles, this person is back and forth, back and forth. They would rather, like for some of you, literally back and forth in and out of the house because they'd rather be somewhere else than home with you and their kids. Some of these partners that you're with, because they're manipulative, they might buy very, very expensive gifts to distract you or to make you feel guilty if you are not grateful to them for them buying them for you. And I, Spirit told me to make this note. These are things that you do not need at all. Like they're not necessities. These are very expensive gifts that you do not need at all. But because of the high price tag, it would feel crazy to somebody else for you not to be grateful for receiving them. And your partner knows that. This partner knows the kind of person you are and that you would never want to disrespect or be disrespect them or to be ungrateful and they know that which is why they manipulate you in this way by buying you these super 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 expensive gifts to where you have to literally just show face and just say thank you because if you are ungrateful for receiving them that's a whole nother fight while they ignore and neglect things that actually need to be done or bought in until it's forgotten about or until you blow up and then you guys have a fight and then they finally do it. So, okay. So let me clarify that this, that was a different part of the message. So basically these people in order to manipulate you or these partners to, in order to manipulate you from something that needs to be actually done or said or bought that might benefit the family, or maybe you guys need to do like some housework or there's something specific that needs to be done to be taken care of this person will manip be manipulative and buy you something very expensive to distract you from what needs to actually be done so they can do what they want instead. This partner also might make a huge deal about holidays and family time to further distract you from the rest of the year of neglect and abuse. It doesn't have to be physical abuse. I don't know how your situation to an actual T is just what spirit gave me. But there's obviously some type of emotional or mental turmoil going on here. But this person makes a huge deal about holidays and family time to further distract you from the rest of the year of neglect and abuse, but only when it comes to their own family. So, like I said, some of you might be in a blended family. So... They seem to purposefully ignore or disrespect your family. That might be never including them into things unless you have to invite them 
always purposely showing up super late to family functions to upset you and then leaving soon after. I know these messages sound crazy, truly, but like, I mean, obviously, if spirit is giving them to me, then someone needs to hear this. For some of you, if this partner has adult children that are living with you, your partner could have approached them. Okay, no, sorry, this is a separate message. For some of you might have children who are adults already. And this manipulative partner could have approached them in the past inappropriately, either behind your back or when you were away or gone at work. This partner could have made your adult child feel incredibly uncomfortable and or unsafe and then acted like it was nothing or like it was a joke once they saw that your child was actually scared or visibly uncomfortable with the situation. This is a sense of control of not only being able to control you, but to being able to control your children as well, while they ignore their own children that you raised. Like sometimes like, I don't understand people. This is crazy. They could have told them to never tell you about this and even manipulated you to turn against your own child. You could have ended up kicking out your child called them ungrateful or that they needed to learn their lesson and this is why you were doing this all because of what something all because of something that your partner could have said to you about your child so this next part of the channeled messages that i got um were actually for the adult children who have been hurt and manipulated in this relationship so not you the parent but your child so these next messages are for like this adult child that has been um that was approached inappropriately by the manipulative partner so now these messages could still resonate with you or with most of the collective because like i said this is a general reading I'm reading for a lot of people so spirit was just giving me like a ton of messages so I just jotted them down and kind of laid them out in a way that made sense to me so that I could relay it to you but this could still resonate with you and this could resonate with somebody else as well that has nothing to do with being in a, a manipulative relationship so just keep that in mind but some of you have a lot of bitterness and resentment towards your parent for always choosing a man or a woman over you for their continued display of toxic love and not standing up for themselves in their own relationship thus teaching you that if you're in a relationship whether it's good or bad but in this case bad even if it's not great that you can't stand up for yourself and that you can't speak your mind and say you know hey you can't talk to me like that or you can't treat me like that or if you're going to treat me like that you're going to treat my children like that then you're gone they taught you that you can't do that that you just suck it up you just be grateful grateful for what grateful for that i have this partner that's never home that literally spends all their money on things that we don't need who ignores me and their children and like who makes me manipulate and hurt my own children grateful for what for their continued display of toxic love and not standing up for themselves in their own relationship all the while making you feel like you were irresponsible ungrateful immature and reckless for the life that you led or still lead so they are trying to tell you how to live your life because they feel so trapped that they can't do what they want because they're stuck in this relationship so now they're trying to project their feelings onto you saying that you're ungrateful you're reckless why did you do that why do you live like your why do you live your life like this and because of that some of you could have found yourself also in an unhealthy relationship once you were old enough to actually start dating because of what your parents have showed you some of you could have gotten married young to an older man or woman i got from spirit that most of you are happy and healthy if you did get married to an older man or woman it's not necessarily un it's not unhealthy 
Um, but some are trying to still fill that spot where parental love is supposed to be. So even though most of your relationship is happy and healthy with this person that you married, you married this person with the subconscious root problem of not having parental love. But like I said, for a lot of you, it still turned out to be something that you needed and it still turned out to be healthy. Some have been single for a very long time due to trust issues or when you see a red flag, you cut people off instantly because you're not going to be, I can't, I got, you're not going to be made to look like a fool. I don't know. That was the message I got. Maybe, maybe your parent made you feel foolish in your past for having the ideas that you had or for doing certain things. And the way you see it is, or maybe you felt like a fool because you thought you could trust these people in your family. And then it turned out that you couldn't. And you felt like a fool for thinking that because, you know, their family or like blood is thicker than water or whatever, that you thought they would never hurt you, but they did. Some of you are very, very gifted, spiritually intuitive. Even as a young child, you were like this. And when you voice things that you intuitively knew were true, you were scolded or discouraged by your parents. One of the one of the examples I got was you can't say stuff like that. If you stay, if you say stuff like that, people will hate you or they won't like you. When you say stuff like that to a child enough over time, you know, they start to believe it because they're children. They believe the things that their parents tell them and they're still impressionable. And even as adults, anything that you hear repetitively for so many times, your brain starts to believe it. So constantly being say, you can't say stuff like that. You can't do things like that because people won't like you or people will hate you. If you have something, if you have a parent or someone in your family who was telling you stuff like that your whole life, it is very, very hard to break those cycles when you're an adult. Even if you know that they aren't true, it's like there's still a pathway in your brain that has been carved and paved and sometimes it's hard to not just walk on it because it seems easier because it's already paved rather than a dirt road or a grovelly, broken up, cracked road that's never been treaded before. Some of you are very, very, very talented. Things come very easily and naturally to you. You're very artistic. That could be for like singing, dancing, sports, you know, anything like that, etc. And was you were very open as a child and you are very proud of yourself for being good at these things and not afraid to be proud of yourself but your parents told you that you were self-centered and selfish that you were not humble and showing your talents to people will only make them hate you make them jealous and hurt their feelings or make them feel bad about themselves so you shouldn't show off you shouldn't show off your natural god-given talents because you would hurt someone's feelings like, this is really what some parents have been saying to people in, collect in the collective their whole life, that you should not, you should not show your talents because God forbid you hurt someone's feelings and make them feel bad about themselves. Instead of saying, we're so proud of you, you're so talented, this is great. You know, S Susie, Susie Joe over there probably has great talents of her own, too. Maybe she's really smart. Maybe she's really good at math. Maybe she's really good at pottery. Maybe she's really good at track and field. You should tell Susie J or whatever I said. I can't remember what the name I gave her, but you should tell Susie over there how good she is at that, too. And maybe you and Susie could work together. But no, what she said was, what they said was, you can't show Susie that you're a good singer because you might hurt Susie's feelings because she doesn't know how to sing. Well, Susie wasn't given a magical, mystical voice box. Was she, mother? No, she was given other talents. And these parents need to teach their children that, yes, it is okay to be proud of yourself for having talents, but is not showing off or hurting people's feelings by being talented Instead, why don't you encourage other kids and other people around you to hone their talents, point out things that they're good at, and compliment them so they can feel proud about being good at math or good at science or good at pottery, good at cooking. 
Like it just, I, when I get these messages sometimes, it makes me secondhand frustrated because it's like, how can you treat your children like this? Even if you were like a young parent or maybe you didn't have, maybe your parents didn't have someone to show them how to be a parent either. And it's like a cycle. It's like a karmic cycle that keeps happening in every generation. I always say, you know, they know the basics. You know the basics of being a good person, don't you? You know what's right and what's wrong, don't you? You wouldn't treat somebody you don't know or somebody who's a friend or an acquaintance or your mother or your father that didn't do something to deserve it. You wouldn't treat them badly, would you? No. So why would you treat your child this way? Even if you don't know how to be a parent, treat your children with kindness, compassion, and respect like you would treat a normal adult human being. I don't understand what is so hard about that. Some of you now are complacent. You're hiding your talents, your true self. You're in a rundown job. You're unable to express how you truly feel or give in or give up to... Oh my god. You can't express how you truly feel or give up on your dreams altogether. My throat chakra, guys, is really starting to feel <clears throat> kind of messed up right now. Somebody does not want me to be telling you guys this that is for sure <clears throat> but yeah see here with the six with the six of pentacles this is something that needs to be taught to children and even young adults honestly to be generous and compassionate and to give to other people to give pe and that doesn't even have to be like money to give people encouragement to give people love compassion compliments stability your time these things need to be taught to children that they should give these things if they intuitively feel that they're going to get it reciprocated don't just give these things to people because someone told you to if you know that the people you're giving to will give back to you equally then do it now in some cases giving is just something people do when they expect nothing in return, like giving to charity or helping somebody on the street who's homeless or, you know, wanting to help somebody just because you love them and not expecting them to give back to you. This is also representative of that. But as far as like the children thing that I was talking, the child thing I was talking about before about the talents and stuff like that, the first message for this card, I think really needs to be something that's taught to children to not give some so much of themselves if they're not going to receive anything, don't empty your cup for other people and then run dry, but have an exchange, an equal exchange between people. Is there anything else, Spirit, you want to add to the conversation for my collective? The sun, yeah. So some of you really, really are on the road to your ultimate happiness. Some of you, some of these messages could have been in your past. You are, this is coming to an end. It's coming to a completion and you're about to have your ultimate happiness. And this is also why this came out earlier too. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever you're working hard for is about to come true. It's about to come to completion, come to fruition and you are going to be successful. You might be overcoming these wounds from your past. You might be overcoming this manipulative relationship that's made you feel stuck your whole adult life or however long, however many years, months, whatever. It is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. I'm sorry. I'm getting like really like heated right now. I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't know how else to get the message out. <laughs> what else, spirit? Yeah, the star card and the fool. Yes, so this makes me feel better. Some of you are... This lady's naked. Um, some of you are definitely about to take some type of leap of faith to something new and exciting. The star is a card that represents 
great things happening even after difficult times. It is possible for happiness. It is possible for new beginnings. This karmic cycle will not continue. You are breaking this karmic cycle. Whether that was something that was started when you were an adult or child or something that was started back when your parents were children or your grandparents were children. It doesn't matter because you are the curse breaker. You are the karmic cycle ender. What else, spirit? Is there, ooh, that's a lot. Is there anything? Okay. Wow. We're definitely reading for a lot of people. That's for sure. I'm going to leave this here just in case I end up wanting to open those cards. So the King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles actually came out not in reverse originally, but Queen of Wands, Chariot, and King of Swords. So yeah, some of you are definitely regaining your strength like your mental emotional strength your spiritual strength some of you are going to be getting lots and lots of new opportunities that are going to grow new streams of wealth and abundance for you you are going to be moving head first on a very clear path to exactly where you want to go after all of these cycles have ended and have you and you've moved away from these snakes in your life these trauma wounds these self-limiting beliefs that you've been had been brainwashed this reprogramming by your parents once you have ended those cycles and you've restarted and you've rebirthed something new for yourself you're going to know exactly which path to take because you'll know exactly what you don't want some of you might even feel like you have a familiar like you have a, a pet that's more than a pet that seems to be protecting or guiding you through all of this. Let me see what these cards were. The High Priestess. Yeah, you intuitively already knew that most, most of the stuff that was going on was bullshit. You knew that these people were not, were not true. They were not honest. Judgment. Yeah, some of you, some of you just had to wait it out. Some of you, like the hangman, you had to wait it out and see where it was going to take you because you knew that you had to find the right time. You had to wait for judgment day to make your big rebirth without, you know, like a lawyer going to, going to court. Without a strong case, you have nothing. Without proof, you have nothing. You needed to wait for Judgment Day to make your, to make your, your move. You had to wait. And I'm so sorry that some of you had to go through this. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk, but <clears throat> I'm kind of starting to feel some of you guys' energy. And it's, some of you are so profoundly sad. And I'm kind of getting that these are some of the people who are still stuck in your situations. Yeah, some of the way that I get messages is also by kind of touching the cards and just kind of sitting with them for a little bit. Yeah, I'm tearing up. Some of you are really, really having a hard time right now. But Judgment Day is coming. Like, don't... You don't need to feel like you're hopelessly stuck where you're at and you can't get through it. You are. You're the high priestess. You know, you know intuitively that this isn't where you're supposed to be. But you're working. You're working on taking some action to get where you need to go. To head on your clear path and judgment day is coming. You just have to wait and be patient. Do we have any closing messages for my collective before we sign off? 
He's saying check the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is one of the fastest cards in the deck, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, as soon as you have the bumpers, the obstacles out of your way, you are going to fly out of there. <clears throat> you know exactly where you need to go. Anything else, Spirit? we have anything else before we sign off do one more of these and if not then we'll close out no okay okay there's one two yep some of yep you you are walking away Whatever, whatever illusion that this person sold you on thinking that this was going to be a great idea, a great relationship, a great life, you are turning your back on that fake illusion and you are walking away. And this person is just going to have to deal with it. They're going to be thrown out and stuck out there like the Five of Pentacles. I think I said that earlier in the reading too, that they can be out there like the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> oh my gosh, spirit is so great. Thank you so much, Spirit, for letting me channel these messages for my collective. Um, I think this is something that you all really needed to hear or some of you needed to hear at least. Um, if you resonated with this message, please let me know down in the comments. What was your favorite part? What did you like the most? Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. It helps me grow my channel. It helps me to connect to you a lot easier for these messages in the future. And I just want to kind of, if you're still here and you've made it this far, thank you again. Like I said, um, I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of you have been reaching out to me via comments and stuff like that on my shorts and my previous videos. And I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I, it makes me so happy to know that I'm helping others and you know, I'm not perfect. I'm a human being too. I'm a, I'm a spiritual being living a human experience. Um, so I further heal myself on the 3d plane by helping and healing others. So I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. I wish you lots of positivity, luck and prosperity and strength to get through whatever you're going through because I know you can do it and when you get out of this situation and you move to a better place for yourself come back to this video and leave me a comment about your new experience I would love that if you remember <laughs> anyway thank you so much guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye